Hey! Wait for me! Please stop! Don't come any closer! That boy in the white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Come on! Wait up! Let me touch your body a little! I've always wanted to be friends with a robot! What? A robot? What is it? Are you another robophobe? I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for real? A robot? I am not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Ultimate robot? That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Oh, um, go ahead. I'm Koki Chioma, the ultimate supreme leader. A robot and supreme leader? Neither of them make any sense. By the way, I learned the hard way that robot's breath smells like gasoline. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not funny. Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. D don't mock me! I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student. Just like you. You're a high school student? I was created by Professor Itabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But the professor raised me and taught me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things. Until finally, he enrolled me in high school. And now I stand here before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey, do robots have dicks? Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. I mean, just being a robot is probably enough to claim the title of Ultimate Robot. Hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your Ultimate Supreme Leader talent. Oh. I'm just a supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. What? I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil secret organization? Who knows? I am a liar after all. Huh? So you were lying just now? Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. So... Were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Ultimate Supreme Leader, huh? This is the first time I've met anyone with a talent like yours. Oh, yeah. You saw the documents about all the incoming freshmen, right, Makoto? Do you know if Kokichi is telling the truth or not? Well, the information on that document may not be complete. You have no idea how many crazy things I've done, do you? If you knew, my subordinates would have eliminated you a long time ago, Makoto. Hey, everything he said so far has sounded like a lie. So that's gotta be a lie too, right? Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He is a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. Well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. <laughs> oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I don't have that function! Aw, oh, man. You're boring. What a weird guy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around. Unless he really is an evil supreme leader?
I'll just wait here. I feel like I made the situation awkward. For. Don't sneak up on me, bitch! I literally just met you, and you've already called me a bitch. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for! Just who are you anyway? Huh? S seriously You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mew Iruma. Um, I've never heard of you. So what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, Read while you sleep, even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. Though this one time, I invented these really stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag. Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. Psh, your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That, that seems like a waste. waste. It's, it's way, way better, better than, than your do-stuff stuff while sleeping inventions. Th thanks for waiting for me, Makoto. No problem, shall we? Um, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sumugi Shiragane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. A uh, cosplayer? Are you surprised? I get that a lot, since I'm so plain. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost pheromonal scent about you. I bet anyone who looks at your body can tell that your pheromones are off the charts. Um, I don't really like being watched by people. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. I'd rather wear my outfits myself, with love, than give them to such people. Wow, you're pretty intense. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. Oh, well of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. That's so amazing! You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Wow! The ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent! Even among the new students, Kirumi has a reputation. She's clear-headed, good at sports, an excellent student, and a maid as well. In fact, she's so perfect, it's said that she can complete any request. What? She's that amazing? Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. Rumor has it she was also a bodyguard for heads of state. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. She's how I imagined the ultimate maid to be. Not only is she talented, but she's composed. <laughs> Oh, he's the ultimate tennis pro. Hmm, 
that's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. A nothing more than his empty shell. I've seen you in the newspaper before, I think. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. You took down a mafia by yourself? Using his steel tennis ball, he blew a hole through their heads one by one. What the hell? Really? Hmm. So you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talent to kill? But, but, why would you throw away your future like that? Hmm. <laughs> because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. Anyway, I'm warning you, it's dangerous just to walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Kaede, as far as I know, that's all of the students at this school. I see. Then maybe we should go to the gym. Yeah, although I get why you might be a little hesitant. I'm fine. Let's go. We won't find out what's going on if we just wander around aimlessly. did what the letter said and went to the gym. I wonder what's in here. Hey, Makoto, are you ready to go in? Sorry, but this is where we part ways. I can't go past this point. Because you're the protagonist now, Kaede. What? From here on, you're the one who's going to learn about this situation we're in. You might feel despair, but I don't want you to throw away hope. Even if there's despair on the horizon, remember that Hajime and I are here to help. Well, see ya. Let's meet up later. What? Wait, Makoto! He just left all of a sudden. What's gotten into him? Protagonist? Hope? Despair? What does any of that mean? Jeez, I'm having second thoughts about going in the gym. But there's no point just standing around. I have to face whatever's inside. You finally arrived! Why, hello there, Kaede! Ah! Whoa! That scared me! Huh? What is this? A panda? Who are you calling a panda? I'm Monokuma! The headmaster, you know? I'm kind of a big deal around here. H headmaster And now, a message from your headmaster! You'll all be living out the rest of your lives within the walls of this academy! What? what? We'll be we'll living out the rest, rest of our, our lives, lives here? Well, wait a minute! You just came out of nowhere and... Ugh! I don't get any of this! I'm not done talking yet, so please shut up! Thank you! Anyway, if you want to leave the academy, there's a special graduation requirement! I'll explain what this requirement entails. While you live together, you're all responsible for maintaining the harmony of the academy. But if someone was to disrupt that harmony, then they get to leave. You with me so far? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> it's simple, really. A student must kill another student. K kill Whether it's stabbing, bludgeoning, slicing, burning, crushing, strangling, poisoning, the method doesn't matter. The student that kills one of their classmates gets to leave. Work hard to make your undesirable means justify the most desirable end! D don't mess around with us! I would never... murder anyone! 
Don't you see, Kaede? This is how your story begins. My story? What does that even mean? Oh, you don't know? Didn't Makoto say something eerily similar before coming here? You know Makoto? Don't worry about the veteran. This is your story after all. More importantly, I've prepared rooms for you new students in the dormitory. You should check out your room. I'm sure things have gotten very interesting by now. To the dorms, quickly! You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there. <laughs> My room? Though I had no idea what was going on, I turned away from Monokuma regardless. I've heard so many strange terms today. New student, protagonist, killing game. I'm so exhausted. I barely have the energy to feel confused by all of this. I don't care what that bear says. I will not be part of some killing ga- Makoto's still not back. I'm a little worried. For now, I should go to the dorms. I wonder which room is mine. It looks like each door has a portrait on it. Oh, is it this one? But it's not just mine. Makoto and Hajime's portraits are on here too. Don't worry, I'm happy to explain. Ah! This room has been prepared for the three of you to share it. It's purely a penny-pinching measure. It might seem cramped, but I'm sure you'll make it work. Uh, I'm a girl! I can't agree to this at all! Shenanigans in co-ed dorms are the most juvenile of juvenile fantasies, you know? Any indecent behavior in the wholesome halls of the academy will be severely punished. But in the dorms, you can do whatever you want, and I will look the other way! You three will stay in the protagonist room because I want you all to get along! What do you mean, protagonists? I only answer those types of questions once. Don't just stand there, go inside already. You're the one who stopped me. I haven't decided whether I'm sleeping here, but I'm definitely not okay with this. Anyway, I should go inside. What? What happened? This room's a mess! Wh why What the hell happened in this room? It's a normal bed, but it's pretty damaged. What does this mean? What happened in here? I peeked into the shower room, and there I saw... What? This can't be happening, can it? It can't be... He's... dead? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time passes, a class trial will be held. Class trial? It's the class trial to determine who killed Yasuhiro Hagakure, the ultimate clairvoyant. Jeez, this is like the second time he's died already. Yeah, you guys can just ignore that. Although you must kill someone to be eligible to graduate, killing alone is not enough. You must kill someone without the other students finding out you did it. In order to make sure the culprit has met that requirement, once a murder occurs, a class trial will be held after a certain amount of time. During the class trial, you'll present your arguments for who you think the killer is. If you're correct, only the blackened killer will receive punishment. And the rest of you will keep on living here together. But if you pick the wrong person, the blackened killer will get off scot-free and everyone else will receive punishment. 
Anyway, those are the rules of the class trial. What the? Now, I gotta hand these out before you start investigating. It's a file containing all the information I've gathered about the victim. I call it the Monokuma file. After all, it's not like you guys are pros at examining dead bodies or anything. So I made sure to gather helpful info, such as the time and cause of death. Now then, go forth and investigate. I'll see you all at the class trial. No way. Wait a minute. It's fine. I promise this will all pay off. You just gotta focus like you're pulling an all-nighter. I've never pulled an all-nighter, and you can't just spring an investigation on us like this. <laughs> Talking to me is just a waste of time. Save it for the class trial. See you later. Uh, wait! In the end, Monokuma just ignored me and disappeared. They have to investigate and find out who killed Yasuhiro. Someone in this academy actually killed someone?